6,000 feet away, no problem. For those of you who still own a GoPro Karma drone and still have concerns or fears about losing your drone due to poor connectivity issues, fear no more, there's a great solution that's actually been available to everybody for quite a while. It was actually made for the 3DR Solo drone, which also suffered connectivity issues. I've been flying RC aircraft and in the drone industry a few years and have also been using long range kits for different types of drones. The one that I highly recommend is the FPVLR hardware. You can use just the antenna alone and easily double or triple your range or you can boost the scenario with a booster amplifier and really you're going to outbeat the range of your drone battery. That's how strong of a signal that these antennas create. So we are only modifying the controller. We are not modifying the drone. We are increasing the range, the reach, the length of the leash of the signals between the transmitter and the drone. So we're going to focus on the transmitter, the controller. First order of business is to remove this front lid. Kind of pops out and up. Don't do anything too forcefully. And it comes right out. And what you see here are the two little tiny weak stock antennas. Look at the difference in size between these antennae. And again, FPVLR is industry known for really good long range antennas. Flip the controller to its bottom and use either a butter knife or a cell phone opening tool to open the back lid. Now that you've got both plates off the bottom and the front, you're going to need a T6 torque screw to remove this screw in the front and then all of these screws in the back. Now open up the controller and from the back gently pop it out. Please be very gentle to not pull on any cables or wires that are back here. The next step is to unplug the stock antennas from the circuitry. You basically have to pop up these two connectors. Just be gentle with everything. And you want to tuck away these stock antennae. You don't want to cut them. You don't want to put tape on them. Just tuck them away. The next step are these two cables listed in the comment section. They're the only logical cables that will snap onto these two connectors. It doesn't matter which one is left or right. But you want to make sure that it snaps and you get a confirmed snap. Yet still be gentle. So it is not difficult to assemble all the hardware that you've seen and that is listed in the comment section. I'm not going to make any specific recommendations to you on how to assemble this. There's several different ways to do this, including buying mounting brackets. Just use your best judgment. Don't force things. Uh, use your best craftsmanship. It's very easy to do. And there's maybe three, four different ways to accomplish it. So there you go. So I'm finally going to be able to get to try this long range transmitter on my Karma drone. Unfortunately, it's been windy all month and I'm having to do this test fly in windy conditions. I will be flying the GoPro upwind in slow mode, not in sport mode to conserve battery. This test is not necessarily for distance because the Karma is not a good distance drone due to the battery and I'm just trying to see if I can get better connection between the transmitter, the controller and the drone. Passenger connected. Ready to fly. 
Five, three, two, one.